Assalamu alaikum. My name is Iman Zaheer and the topic for my video is ADHD. This disorder lies under the tree of special education as you're watching special education channel. ADHD, also known as attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, is one of the most common neurodevelopment disorders of childhood. It is usually first diagnosed in childhood and often lasts into adulthood. ADHD is actually a brain disorder that can affect how you pay attention and control your behavior. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is a mental condition that affects about 1 in 10 children. It can be triggered by various factors such as playing or not paying attention. If you or someone you know has ADHD, it's important to get it checked early to manage it. There are actually three types of ADHD. Predominantly inattentive presentation, predominantly hyperactive impulsive presentation, and combined presentation. In the first type, this type of ADHD is characterized predominantly by inattention and distractibility without hyperactivity. The second one is the least common type of ADHD and it is characterized by impulsive and hyperactivity behaviors without inattention and distractibility. The third one is the most common type of ADHD and is characterized by impulsive and hyperactive behaviors as well as inattention and distractibility. Signs of ADHD might vary from person to person and from age group to age group. These are the signs of ADHD which are common in children, that they are easily distracted, they do not follow the directions, they don't stay seated for long, forget about daily activities, has trouble organizing things, and has trouble waiting for their times. Symptoms of ADHD may change as a person gets older. Signs of ADHD in adults is that they might have difficulty at work, they might have difficulty at home, difficulty with relationships, and when they are in their old age, they might fall prey for hyperactivity and extreme restlessness. Symptoms can become more severe when the demands of adulthood increases. Causes of ADHD well, scientists have not yet identified the specific causes of ADHD, but these are the three most common causes of ADHD. The first one is that it transfers through genes and DNA and runs in family. The second one is the brain chemicals and the third one is a brain injury or a brain disorder. Diagnosis and testing of ADHD. It can be hard to spot an ADHD, an ADHD child. Most of the time, the symptoms are not usual enough to be diagnosed. Deciding if a child has ADHD is a problem process with several steps. There is no single test to diagnose ADHD and many other problems like anxiety, depression, sleep problems, and certain types of learning disabilities can have similar symptoms. A child with a diagnosis of ADHD may take a series of steps to confirm their diagnosis. These tests should be given by experts in the diagnosis and the treatment of the children. It also requires hearing and vision tests to rule out other problems with symptoms like ADHD, as well as taking a history of the child from parents, teachers, and the child itself. The treatment and management of ADHD can be done together. ADHD is best treated with a combination of behavior therapy and medication. For preschool aged children with ADHD, behavior therapy, particularly training for parents, that is recommended as the first line of treatment before medication is tried. It can be managed through developing healthy, healthy eating habits, that is fruits, vegetables, and, healthy, and attaining a healthy diet. Participating in da daily physical activities, limited screen time for computer, mobile, television, etc. 
and getting the recommended amount of sleep each night based on age. When people around us get to know that we have particular disorder, it pushes them back. But basically a disorder is something which is simply not in order and can't be coped up with. These are the two famous personalities with ADHD, Michael Phelps and Karina Smirnoff, who had ADHD, but ADHD could not stop them for what they wanted to become. Thank you so much for your time. I hope the knowledge I have to offer might suffice.